Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Saturday, August 5th, and it's currently 2.55 p.m., and this is my first video I am recording in August, and my first video I am posting in August, so that's very exciting. I do owe you guys an apology because I have not posted in a very long time, like for... The whole month of July I posted three or four times which is very unusual for me it's very unlikely but most of you guys know and if you don't know now you do I had came back home to a different state so I am just adjusting to everything while also working and being busy I am also adjusting to the time zone again because I've been on central time zone my whole entire life up until a couple years ago and then I went back to central time zone and now I am two hours behind central time zone so so I am just adjusting to the time zone and everything like that so again I've just been super super busy and I haven't had any time for my baby since I came back so again it is unusual and I do apologize but work and everything like that but again I just been busy so anyways, we are going to change Saint out of his onesie that he's been wearing for about two months now and into this really cute two-piece outfit set that I got from the UK. It is by Fred and Flo and it's up to three months. It's this really cute yellow shirt and it has two dinosaurs on it. And I just thought this would be really, really cute for him and on him, especially this yellow. And then these blue and white striped shorts and you guys know the lighting is always horrible so it's no point <laughs> for me to keep pointing it out even though you guys can see it but yeah the lighting is super bad so i do apologize for that as well anyways i do have a topic for today's video the topic is well i guess it's not really a topic it's just something I wanted to talk about because it's something that I noticed. So, usually when I am looking for a baby, I search high and low before purchasing anything so I don't get buyer's remorse or regret it or anything like that. So, it takes me a while to find a baby most of the time. But if it's a baby I've been wanting for a while and it's up for sale, then it doesn't take me too long to decide that I want that baby in my collection. But for the most part, it takes me quite a long time because I have told myself I need to stop buying babies that I see and that I like and start buying babies that I love and would like to have in my collection for a few years or forever. But one thing I noticed is that I see pe not people, I see, I'm not going to change this diaper because I didn't grab one, I'm just going to readjust it, but I see artists and they say like they post a picture of a baby and they say the baby isn't for sale and it already has a home so like the baby is sold and it already has a home but i noticed like in their instagram bio it says no customs so i'm like how is the baby sold if you don't allow customs or private orders or anything like that so then I'm thinking, well, maybe if the baby was a custom from a long time ago and they now just were able to finish up the custom order. But then I'm like, for some artists, I'm like, yeah, that does make sense and that could be true. But then for others, I'm like, well, they haven't had their customs open for about two, three years now. So, I mean, it still could very much be a custom because some artists does take quite a while. But I'm like, well, I don't know, that kind of doesn't make sense either. So I was just thinking, has anyone else noticed that? I mean, I noticed that like a few years ago, but I never really thought anything of it. Because the babies are like so cute and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want this baby. But then it's like, oh, baby already sold. Or the first picture posted of the baby and they're like, baby is sold i'm like what how i didn't see a for sale pose how is the baby sold already i didn't see whip pictures for sale pictures or anything like that so i'm like how is the baby sold already so i don't have a logical 
explanation for this. I don't know if anyone else notices this or if anyone else has a logical explanation. But again, it is, I should have put a white onesie underneath this, but I guess it's okay. But has anyone else noticed that there have been so many babies being posted, but they already sold once they get posted? And I see this all the time, not with one particular artist, but I see it quite a lot. Like I said, I've been seeing it for a couple of years now, but I just never thought anything of it. So anyways, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. I know this isn't really a topic and the video is pretty short, but... It's just a changing video, and I tell myself I don't have to have a 20-minute changing video. So, unless the topic is that good. <laughs> so, anyways, this is Saint. He is the April Kit by Joanna K. I've been seeing a lot of his blank kits being posted for sale. Of course, they are more than what they were when his kit first came out but they aren't too bad because i've seen them get really expensive like over a thousand dollars for a blank kit type expensive um but i see his kit now or uh, i guess what you would consider a good price for me that's still steep what people are asking but yeah anyways again i don't have anything else to talk about if you guys would like to share your thoughts about the topic then let me know this shadow over casting him is annoying because it is literally three o'clock so it shouldn't look like it's so dark in here but i couldn't hold this up the whole time hey look so cute scrunched up like this this is a little big on him i like to put him in zero to three month size clothing and then some large newborn but again, this is from the UK, so I'm not sure if their clothing is different and runs a little bit big. But some stuff here runs a little bit big too. That's zero to three months. But yeah. That's my saint. My sainty saint. And that's, again, pretty much it for today's video. I'm trying to think if a baby wore this outfit before. I feel like I put it on... Zaire or the Gigi sculpt that I painted back in 2020. He's so cute. I feel like he would look really cute with pierced ears. He's showing off his little dimple. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Oh, I have these socks. These white socks and then it has like green on it. But I don't know if I want to put, I don't know if I want to put them on him now. Let me see how they look. And he has my favorite texture. I don't know if you guys can see it, but his texture is like, you can see it in person and it looks like real skin. And it's my favorite. It's kind of rough. I think it's, that's what it's called, like a rough texture. I don't like the socks. Maybe if I cover up the... I have so many socks here. But the thing is, most of the time when I pick out the baby's outfits, I don't pick out socks with them. <laughs> my babies hardly don't ever wear socks. Before, socks were mandatory. Now, my babies are barefoot. Let me see if I put this down. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave them on him. If not, I could just take them off. But it is quite cold in the house, so his, sock, his socks can keep his feet warm. That's how he looks. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you all go. I do have two babies available for adoption, not him. 
I have a Margot by Cassie Brace with the most beautiful glass gray eyes with really nice curly blonde brownish hair super chunky heavy cute baby i have that baby for sale and i also have a full body silicone for sale that is nathan by helen connors you guys may have heard me call him seven because that's what i named him while he was in my collection his name was seven he is a baby boy they're both painted in a biracial african-american skin tone so if you're seriously interested in one of them i have tons of videos on my channel margo i don't hardly have any videos i only show margo once or twice but if you want more pictures then go ahead you guys can email me my email is maya reborns at gmail.com serious inquires only please but those are the only two babies i have available and then i also have a blank zoe kit by natalie Blick. Anyways, guys, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. I did just recently private my Instagram. My Instagram has been privated since I've had Instagram. But up until 2021 or 2022, up until either last year or 2021, I made my Instagram public. I think it was last year I made it public because I was trying to sell the babies. And I was like, it doesn't do me any good to have my account on private when I'm trying to sell a baby. So I made it public, but then I was like, it's been public for a long time. The babies are still for sale. So I was like, let me go ahead and just make my Instagram private again because I've always had my Instagram private. And this is the longest I've ever had it public. So I made it private, but I will accept all reborn accounts. So, yeah. And then if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments below, including video requests. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, read that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. We will talk to you guys later. Say subscribe. Subscribe. All right. Bye, guys.